greatest comedian. He is one of the best. One Have of you the heard his skit about the mega leg? Yep. <laughs> we found a way. Up. Oh, time out. We found a way is code for something went very wrong in an underground bunker somewhere. We couldn't get the blast doors down in time. This thing chewed its way to the surface, started killing prospectors, and we had to call in the fucking black helicopters and the Justice League to... Uh, I love Patton. He's the best. Didn't he show yeah. up to something and just start reading like some some like a fill? He showed up to like some governmental thing and he just filibustered by reading the script from Star Wars. It's possible. He is. Uh, he has. Uh, he's active on uh, Twitter when it comes to pol- political stuff. And uh, what's tragic is that last year or like about eighteen months ago, his wife died of an accidental yeah. ambient overdose. Um, well, it was Ambien combined with a un- previously unknown medical condition she had. Um, and so, I mean, he, it's no secret he's a, a, a liberal and he's, you know, you know, dem- a Democrat. Uh, and he, w- he was tweeting something. He wasn't tweeting anything even like anti-Trump. He was tweeting something positive about something Hillary did. And the, uh, a lot of pro-Trump people... Their response to his tweet that wasn't even about Trump was to say, uh, yeah, shut up, dude, your wife. Basically, they basically made fun of the fact that his wife died. And it's like, I, that's, and he that's was what like, bothers me. And what he said about it was very interesting. He said, when I tweet things that are critical of Trump, the people who support Trump, they tweet back and, and, and they, and they can be you know, jerks, but they, but they generally keep it to like, you know, we, we can generally have a discussion, but it's funny that when I say something positive about my side, that's when they get mean. That's when they go to the, that's when they make fun of my dead wife. Like, what is it about positivity that these people can't stand? And it was just like, really, that's like really classless. Well, no, you're right, and the the problem is, is it's 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 on both sides. Like, oh, absolutely. So, like, I look at the president, and he's an idiot. I mean, don't get me wrong; he's the president. I do what the president tells me to do, but he's he's an idiot. Yes. And wanting wanting him to fail is like wanting the plane. That you're yes. on to crash because you don't like the pilot, and that is a perfectly reasonable and understandable argument. But it also is a little bit disingenuous because, and not saying that you're being disingenuous, but um, the analogy do- isn't perfect because in this system, the president can fail to such a degree that we get a new pilot that can do the job better. Is one is the point? I well, would make. you know. Planes come with co-pilots, bro. Yeah, well, there's... Um, I won't go into a whole thing about Mike Pence, but, like, there's no... There's not necessarily any way of saying that it would be better with Pence as the president. But at least Pence is knows how, what the job requires. Whereas I feel like in his heart of hearts, Trump never actually expected to be elected. This is this is the thing though, and this is this is it's completely valid. You can disagree with me if you want. There was a huge population of America that felt like they were being told to just go fuck themselves. Oh yeah. On a regular, consistent basis. Absolutely. That's the reason he got elected in the fucking first because place. Because he appealed to that percentage of people. He also got elected because um, it was the worst. Uh, the worst example of voter turnout in history. It, less than 40% of eligible voters voted, I believe, was the statistic. So you have apathy combined with appealing to a group that feels well, marginalized. You're, you're right, you're right. But the, like... 
they did a whole bunch of polling, okay? And heads up, Bernie against Trump. Trump gets his ass handed to him yep. every freaking time. Every time they polled, Trump would get his ass handed to him by Bernie Sanders. Right. And the, the, I mean, the Democratic Party literally rigged the election in her favor. They were that confident. Like yes. it, at one point, Hillary Clinton was was doing a press conference. They actually have the video of this. They actually had the press conference. And and she's like taking questions, and it's not like a real big thing, you know. It wasn't. She's just taking questions. You know, she made a crack about how you know when he loses, he needs to to you know stand up, and he needs to admit that he lost, and that the system worked, and that you know blah 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 blah. Well, he was and also taking a lot of shots at the system at the time, is why she said that. You're right. You're right. He completely was. And one of the reporters stood up and well, what? What if? What are you going to do when when he wins? And like everybody in the room just laughed. I mean, to be honest, the idea of him winning was laughable. And yet, and yet, he and is yes, forty fifth president of the United States. Yes, to our eternal shame. <laughs> to the eternal shame. If of this you're country. okay with Andrew, if you're okay with Andrew Jackson, um, you I, really I, shouldn't I, have a problem with that. I'm, I'm really not okay with Andrew Jackson either, but. I didn't live in that time. I'm not responsible for that presidency. Here, bro, I'm I got something for you. I'm responsible for this one. Hey, I'd look say at that. the Democratic Party is responsible for this one. I am a voter, and I am a citizen of this country during this uh, that was of voting age when this president was elected. Therefore, I I shoulder some small part of the responsibility for this president. So I can't I can't do anything about Andrew Jackson. You know, he was dead centuries before I was born. But I can feel shame about this one. And that's 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 just you know, it's it's I, I it's not really I, I, about him so being much the president. It's about that what I just I don't I, Honestly for me it's not even hatred. It's it's what his election says about this country. And it it's not what, good. What does it say? It says that this country thinks that bigotry, that misogynistic behavior, that um that thinking that white supremacists are very fine people. And yes, I'm I'm oversimplifying um uh those situations, but that you can there were people after the election there was a very a famous story of a asian american woman who was accosted by some white gentlemen i don't remember in what state but they were telling her to get the fuck out of our country and go back to where she came from because he won and those were that was the words they used now obviously those are just people that's not trump himself okay. but that's what that's what his election signaled to the people who think like that. That, oh, our guy is in the White House now. And whether he accepts it or not, and he's been given opportunity to reject their support and hasn't, whether he accepts it or not, those people consider him their guy. And his election emboldened them. Emboldened the people who think that way. And he has not taken a stand to, t to speak directly to those people and say, no, it's not okay to think that way. I don't know where you got the idea that it's okay to think that way just because I was elected, but it's not. And he's been given opportunities to do so, like after Charlottesville. He had the opportunity to clearly say, no, I do not want the support of David Duke. No, I do not accept the support of the white supremacists. No, that is not what I represent. And instead, he waffled over those, over that decision. He put a big old football in his mouth and didn't say shit about it. That's why I feel shame. Okay. Now, what was your response to what the Black Panthers said after Obama was elected? Uh, you'd have to tell me what they said because I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just wondering because it was... You'd have was, to tell me was, what they said because I don't, I don't know that story. That in order for black people to truly be free, they need to go out and start murdering white women and children. Um, I don't. And, I'm not familiar with that story, but my sense is that 
I would think that the president or at least his office have, would have denounced those remarks. But I, I don't remember. Okay, but but it, it's, I, it's funny because he was friends with the leader and, and they didn't. Um, and the thing is, is it, it, it works both ways. See, I, I, think I, a lot I don't of times, think, well, I don't think the story you're speaking my... is true. I, I'm just going to say I don't okay. think what you're saying is true. Not that you're a liar, but I that's, think you're mistaken. That's, no, that's, that's fine. But it, it works both ways. Um, I think that I, I agree with that. There's, there's, a lot that's, there's a lot that's fucked up with this country. I mean, like heavily, heavily, heavily fucked up. Like to the point where people in this country think, okay, well, there's these laws. I don't have to fucking listen to them. And you should pay me and give me benefits and fuck listening and obeying the laws. And that's, that's not okay. And it's, things are getting a lot worse a lot quicker. And I don't think, I think what happened is millions of people First off, millions of people didn't know what to do. They, they didn't. They just knew the country was getting worse, and they, they figured, okay, uh, we have Democrats, and we've tried them before, and we have Republicans, and we've tried them before, and nothing has fucking worked. So, I, I mean, literally, did you see the South Park episodes about the election? No, I don't really watch South Park. Okay. You, you really should, because it was really prevalent to this election cycle. Um, you're literally, I, I, you're, you're I, I can't, I can't move backwards. <laughs> um, what happened is, is it was Hillary Clinton versus Mr. Garrison and okay. Mr. Garrison. At, I, I mean, he was painted up orange. He looked just like fucking Donald Trump. And he literally at one point like realizes, holy shit, I'm going to be leader of the free world. This needs to stop. And he goes on national television. He goes, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I have never held an elective office. You need to vote for the other person. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, and it, the names they used were uh, Giant Dick and, and Turd Sandwich. Yes, I, I have kind of seen that. And, like, he says this in, like, a national debate. And it was, it was Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton literally looks at him and goes, my opponent is a liar and he is a no good for nothing. And, like, everyone stops and just stares at her. And, like, he just told everybody to vote for you. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And he's a bullshit liar and freaking blah, blah, blah. And it, it just, I mean, this is, this is, you want to know why he got voted in the office? The Democrats fielded the single most crooked candidate in uh, probably president of history. I don't disagree with you. Like, every poll you. they did. Every, every poll they did. First off. Okay, they, they they rigged the primaries in her favor, which mm-hmm. somebody should go to fucking prison for that alone. Like, I mean, you rigged the presidential primary. Yeah, I agree. And, and second off, like, don't get me wrong, I completely believe that socialism is wrong, both morally and ethically. But, you know, he would be doing such a better job right now than fucking Trump. Such a better fucking job. We also, you have to remember that the word socialism is a polymorphic word. It doesn't, it, it means a wide variety of things. Not all of which are exactly what you're talking about. No, I, I, I well, and, and the, the offense that I'm, I'm taking, you know how he's talking college for everybody, he's talking healthcare for everybody, he's talking all, like, right. that's all well and good in theory. You say it out loud, everybody deserves healthcare. But the thing is, not everybody's going to work. And not everybody's going to put their fair share in, which means those of us that do work are going to end up having to pay more for those that don't. And I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't believe in welfare at all. I My think it's I it's have, more have that the people completely. who have been get, the rich people who've been using tax loopholes to not pay to pay negative effective tax rate for years, they might just have their loopholes closed to pay for the people to have health care. Less that us middle class people would have to work more and pay more taxes for the lazy people that don't want to work, I think is more what would actually happen. But again, that's a difference of opinion. Well, and that's, that's, that's another issue is that the, the laws are in fact so convoluted that it's hard to sit down and figure that shit out. You know what I mean? I, there's people who spend their entire lives in that industry. I have confidence in their ability. I, I know, but it, it should be like, I, 
I'm just a regular everyday dude. A little bit stupid. Gonna give you that, okay? There's no way in hell I'm ever gonna be able to pick up the tax law and be able to understand any of it. I mean, the U.S. government acknowledges the fact, and they, they fully acknowledge this, it's on the IRS website, that there's actually no law requiring you to pay income tax. Well, and people go, oh, income tax, it pays for roads, and it pays for this, and it pays for that. And the simple fact is all that stuff existed prior to it. Is that you? Nope. I heard All it those things existed. Me. I, 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 me too, my friend, me too. All those things existed prior to income tax. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, I think over time the government's gotten so big and so convoluted that it resembles nothing that the founding fathers originally wanted or desired. And it needs to either be corrected, corrected hard, um, or we're looking at another civil war. I'm not saying that's anytime soon. I'm not one of those, oh, we're going to, oh, we're going to storm the government, oh. But it's 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 a it's a I valid mean, uh, it's a valid opinion and it's a valid point. My 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 point is is that the rhetoric that if everybody gets universal health care, it's that the the hardworking average Joe will have to work harder and pay more taxes to support the lazy persons that don't want to work is a false narrative. It's that. It's like what I just said. It's that for years and years and years, rich businessmen have had enormous the an, an enormous access to um, to tax loopholes in order to pay very little taxes for the enormous uh, revenue they generate for themselves. And closing some of those loopholes would more than pay for the programs that would help people who need the most, the people who are the least in our society. I think that is closer to the truth, but the problem is, is the rich businessmen who donate to large amounts of money to um, political campaigns. So nobody wants to hurt them because those people can turn around and hurt the politicians in return by not giving them money. That's why we need term limits, bro. Uh, absolutely. But it's it's money. In our society, money is speech. And if you have more of it, you have a, a larger voice, unfortunately. If they just outlawed soft money contributions, that would eliminate a lot of the problem. Like, great. You have a lot of money? That's great. Go buy a billboard supporting the candidate you like. But you can't give any money to his campaign. Because I don't oh, know how yeah, we've done it. Sneaking up on me. I don't know how we've done it, but we've legalized bribery in our country on both sides. Yes, we have. Yes, we completely have. So, you have, you have a government that's never going to go after uh, corporate polluters because the the corporate polluters are the ones who been who who donate to their campaigns. If the laws You're, written. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like lobbying by itself should just be illegal. You shouldn't be able to lobby. Yeah, you should. There was a there's an idea that lobbying reform should be instituted that lobbyists can't direct contributions that they must if they're going to lobby they have to argue on the merits of the bill that they're lobbying for. They have to they they would just be persuaders. I like that idea. Yeah. It's it I it's not my idea. It came from the the last season of the West Wing. It's the first bill that the new president in the show wants to introduce. He wants to introduce lobbying reform. And his own Democratic members of Congress don't want to vote for it because they're like, Well, we have the majority now. We have the fundraising advantage. Why would we why would we change the rules now that we have the advantage? And it's just like uh You know, frickin' Louise Slaughter has been a congresswoman for like 20 or 30 years. Yeah, 20 or 30 years since I was a kid. Yeah. How long was Strom Thurmond decomposing in the fucking Senate? Or in the in the, in the the Congress? No, he was a senator. Senator. Yeah, he was a... I believe so. He was a fucking senator for like 50 years, and he was 
This is a person who filibustered for segregation. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, but oh, it's one hundred percent true. I, no, it's 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 funny because it's not funny. Dead body it's up horrible. here. Horrible. Dead body up here. Okay. Oh man, Loot, I got a crate looted, down here too. Looted dead body up here. Did you know that prior to the start of the Civil War, every slave was owned by Democrats? Yeah, that's because in the 1800s, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, they really, there was a point around the turn of the century that the parties actually switched names, basically. What we consider Democrats today were really the Republicans of the, uh, of the 19th century. I don't I, know I, because I read a whole, you look at the I have, way plantations are run and you look at the way the democratic inner cities I read a are whole, run, that's pretty like, fucking close. I read close. a whole like, thing about this. Like, um, it's basically just a nomenclature but, thing. Like, what we consider democratic values today, the values of today's Democratic Party, are much closer in line with the Republican Party of the 19th century than the Democratic Party of the 19th century. Those parties have basically um, traded a lot of values. You got any 5.56? Five, five, uh, I have 50 extra rounds. Oh, you're using 5.56. Five, five, Never mind. Is that an M4? M4? Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll just use the Uzi. Or not the Uzi, though. This thing. I still don't have anything besides a red dot for this SKS, but... Uh, need to do I. I think it's fortuitous that uh, we haven't picked anything up. I'm not saving any of this, by the way, because while it is, while I'm really enjoying the conversation, I don't really think it's entertaining for YouTube viewers. <laughs> no, I don't think they'd be okay with it, bro. And I and I want to say that I don't. I want you to know, I'm I'm enjoying this conversation. I don't normally like talking about politics, but I, I'm not. Oh, God damn you. Stop body blocking. Well, it's, um, you know what? It's because when you're right, you're right, and I'll fully admit it. Like I'm, I'm pretty much as right wing as they come. But you know, when you you make a valid point, it's I can't argue logic right. and reason. I think there's a lot you of just, you can't. You also, I think a lot. We, what we've lost in our society is the ability to agree to disagree, where it was like, where you have to stop sometimes and go. Honestly, we're talking past each other. Uh. And and it's it's not fruitful to continue. Uh, no of, no offense and no you know no hard feelings, but we just we just don't seem to be we don't seem to be making sense Getting to anywhere. each other. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't seem to be like we seem to be like missing each other. So why don't we like put a pin in what we're talking about and and revisit it another time? It and seems also, like the only thing that this go ahead, the, go the ahead, Thompson go can hold. And its third slot is, in fact, a uh, suppressor. It's the only thing. Yeah, it can't it hold a flash hider. Yeah. Yep. Compensator. It can only take a. It can only take a suppressor, a vertical foregrip, and a magazine of some kind. Kind of shitty. It is the strongest by damage per bullet of the SMGs, and it has the largest magazine capacity potential. Um, it makes up for those advantages by not being able to take any optics and being very limited in its uh, attachments. You know what bothered me the most about the Affordable Care Act? Okay. I thought that it was an amazing thing that it provided the opportunity for health care for everybody in the country. Yes. You're what probably going to you're probably going to state the thing I hate about it the most. But go ahead. What? Uh the uh universal um mandate Yes. Yeah, I hate it. We're gonna and, we're uh, gonna penalize people for not having insurance. Yeah, they're they're working on and um and I know that there's a lot of Democrats and Republicans that are working on just like uh, a bill to repeal just that particular aspect of it. I understand why it exists is because the more people paying into health care, the cheaper it'll be for everybody. But I think it hurts the people it's trying to help. The very people who need that health care are being punished for not having it. Well, I mean, the, the biggest... I mean, you want to start with something, start fixing Social Security, because God uh, knows absolutely. it's not going to be there when There is literally one it. thing they, they could do that would absolutely fix Social Security, and I don't know why no one's talking about it, and it's raise the income limit. 
because as of right now, if you make over 110000 a year, any income above that is not included for the sake of Social Security uh, calculations. It's just not taxed for Social Security beyond 110000 There's no reason why that should be. Like that, You're that completely does not, right. Wow, that does not make sense because because you know what would happen? They've been pissing the Social Security money away, and if you don't stop them from pissing it away, you can do anything you want to fucking fix it, but it's it's still going to be completely destroyed. Is that a six hundred two number? I, it's it's my cousin. I gotta I gotta go, Steve. Hold on. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. oh, eight X scope. If you can hear me, we gotta get out of here. Hey, we gotta run, man. <clears throat> Jay, if you can hear me, run to me, man. Blue's coming, man. This is a bad spot. Shh. 
shit, 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 shit. I can hear him. Damn it. <sighs> Top six.